hello friends today i am going to show how to add ck editor a, a rich text box editor in your project so let's start first open your browser and download ck editor file from ckeditor.com and open open this site go to the download link okay i have three package uh, basic package standard package and full package according to your needs you can use uh, any package i'm going to uh, download the standard package and here one another package is customized according to your needs or requirement you can customize uh, this uh, ck editor and use that so first uh, i'm going to download uh, standard package from download clicks i have already downloaded and on the desktop so so uh, first way i need to open visual studio i'm going to add visual studio you can choose any text editor or uh, any uh, project yeah, php or html or uh, .NET. I'm going to add in this .NET project. CK. I'm going to name it CK according to I'm going to open. Main file new click OK and add a new file control shift plus A and add a new project. Okay, so First, you need to copy this uh, file. This file, okay. This file in our project. Copy and paste. Okay. So I need to add file, CP file in our project and this file secator.js okay. I need this file here and I'm going to add a multi-line text box. Give her ID text and text mode is multi line okay now i'm going to add a, a script okay sorry secreter replace text give your text box id okay and check how does it look like oh, great working you can add from picture from this link you can add headings you can add 
tables much more okay now times to add save data in uh, database okay so add button save text save and save okay i'm going to design save. so first i going to store data and add some file Create our database new query Okay, so CK already exist. I'm going to be named CK1. Okay, fine. Now I'm going to create a table. New. auto increment That's great and my connection name is test is desktop and I'm going to give a connection give server name database name is ck1 okay and i'm going to write our codes to when i click save button when i click a save button that's very fast so first need to open connection and SQL, sorry, SQL command. database name is C data values okay. 
I'm going to define the variable at the rate data and data comes from here okay data comes from here give her name id name great now no command execute non query and connection close great now i'm going to try data saved or not request false now try okay okay it's working now check it. sql server data saved or not select s2 from new okay this is working now i'm going to retrieve data so first need to create a button when i click this button data will serve on click I'm going to cre uh, create a query to retrieve data. So need to give a command. Command. Sorry. Connection open and great. I'm going to write a label which is short data. Okay, I use a label to my table ID is. So, okay. Execute non query. Sorry. Execute non scalar. Okay. Now to screen. And connection close. Open my browser, refresh. I'm going to retrieve. Okay, I'm going to save a format in this format. Okay, save. I'm going to to retrieve this ID is 3 ok so I want to retrieve this data 
click shop oh great this is working good so friends if you like these videos please like share and comment please also subscribe my channel for new updates thank you for watching bye bye